Brian here with Help Sell My RV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this 2006 Winnebago Adventure 35U double slide Class A gas motorhome. Go ahead and get started on the inside and then finish up by showing you the outside. Overall exterior length is 35 feet 8 inches and the exterior height to the full walk on fiberglass roof is 12 feet 2 inches. Give you an idea of the floor plan here before I get started. This is a second owner coach. The current owner has owned it since 2007. He has kept it stored in a barn when not in use. And the only reason why the owner is selling this coach is because of health reasons. All right. It's a double slide Class A gas motorhome. First slide is a super slide. Uh, did originally come with an, a uh, convertible sofa power convertible sofa and uh, the owners thought it was uncomfortable so they took it out and they put in a lazy boy recliner chair you do have the traditional day night shades and they're all in good condition they're not beat up or stained up at all show off the window treatments while I'm getting some good lighting here your cabinets are going to be a maple finish solid wood drawer fronts also in the super slide is the boot dinette, breaks down into a bed, and you can easily sleep two kiddos. All right, this is the upgraded four-door refrigerator, four-door by Norcold. And it does have an ice maker. So this was an upgraded option does have a convection oven the owner found out today that there's something going on with this plug outlet where the microwave is plugged into there's nothing wrong with the microwave or convection oven I actually plugged it into another plug with an extension cord and it works fine so he's gonna have that looked at you do have solid surface Corian style countertops, best you're going to get in 2006 on a Class A gas motorhome. Three burner gas cooktop, front burners, usually a high output, nice cover. This may have been an option or part of a force package. Uh, since you have a convection oven, you do not need the traditional oven, so you have more drawers for pots and pans and odds and ends. Nice leaf extension for more counter space. Show off the countertops there. Undermounted, looks like a stone cast undermounted sink, but they didn't say anything about it in the brochure. Uh, you do have water filtration. All right. Walking back to the master bedroom. This is going to be your second slide out. Accommodates the closet, large closet, and the queen bed full walk around queen bed little place to get ready in the morning nice little stool there looks like the old TV the old traditional TVs definitely put in a nice little flat screen to make it a little bit more up-to-date uh, plus mattress and uh, you do have a looks like a stereo off to the corner there Show off the headboard there. I do want to also point out you have plugs on both sides of the bed On both sides of the bed you do have plug outlets. Uh, oh, you do have the uh, accordion. I'm sorry like a, a hideaway solid pocket door fantastic vent fan in the bathroom you do have soft touch vinyl ceiling and again solid surface countertops also in the bathroom not the Formica or laminate top foot flush china toilet and of course your shower 
I did check this coach for water damage inside and out. I did not find any issues in the inside. Uh, I did not find any bubbling, which is delamination on the outside of the coach, uh, which is usually caused by water damage. Did not find any issues. Checked around the toilets for soft spots in the floor. Did not find any issues at all. And also checked for stress cracks on the outside of the coach around the slide outs. This coach pretty much is a pretty clean coach. And that, I believe that lazy boy was probably another upgrade that the owners put in here and took out probably the little cheap little rocker chair that they usually put in these things. You do have a little table, by the way, back behind there that folds away. Ultra leather pilot and co-pilot seat. And uh, let's see here. It's probably a six-way power in excellent condition. There's really no wear and tear really on the inside of this coach. This coach is sitting on the workhorse chassis. 8.1 liter Vortex engine, 340 horsepower, 455 foot-pounds of torque, 5,000 pound towing capability. Stereo, starting from the right, obviously the stereo, just below the stereo, you've got defrost generator start and stop button, uh, your speakers, radio, uh, coach heat, and uh, slide out room. That's probably for the slide out in the living room. Anyway, uh, thermostat controls, those are easy to figure out. Backup camera, little CB down here. There's your workhorse chassis badge right there. Coach has, turn the engine on just a little bit. Coach currently has 61,214 miles. And it's signaling that the jacks are down, so. All right. And working my way to the left here, uh, starting from the top, you, you do have a, a six-speed Allison transmission with overdrive. And just below the buttons, the overdrive button, starting from the left, battery boost button, ties your house battery and chassis battery together in case your chassis battery is dead. Then you have fog lamps, and you have the, to the right of that is grade brake. And just below that is your HWH auto leveling system. And you do have driver's side door or driver's door and that may have been an option a lot of manufacturers uh, consider that as an option but you do have uh, on your controls on the door uh, power window uh, you do have power uh, sun visors for the driver and I'm sorry pilot and co-pilot seat and uh, heated uh, mirrors and that's easy to figure out all right let's kind of speed this video up a little bit Looks like they did upgrade the TV, flat screen TV, and it's by Samsung. And you do have controls. Let's just go ahead and show you. You got electronics up here, uh, DVD, and it looks like a VCR. Wow, combo unit. All right, and then it looks like a, I think it's a 10 disc CD player, and you do have satellite on this coach. And I'll try to show the dome off. And there are the uh, the power sun visors on the pilot and co-pilot seat. All right. Oh, I do like to try to show off the floor. It's that vinyl flooring through, through the high traffic area. Let's always do this. Forget to turn off the generator. This is considered a higher end coach, Class A gas motorhome. Uh, it does have the full body paint and the full walk-on fiberglass roof and also the 22.5 wheels those were a big deal great features in 2006 on a class a gas motorhome show off the condition there beautiful front cap normal wear and tear on the coach did not find any real red flags there's a little scratch on the back corner i'll try to show you well let's start around this way Headlights are not fogged up whatsoever. I think that has to do with uh, keeping it stored inside, definitely. Chrome heated side mirrors. 
Tires on the front were manufactured, uh, if I remember right, the third week of 2014, and they're in excellent condition. And both front tires are matching. Does have the slide out awning package, and all the awnings are really good condition. They're not faded whatsoever. Show off, shoot down the side there, show off that, uh, that beautiful full body paint, high gloss, gel coat finish. There are no decals on this coach. All your baggage doors all come out with the slide out. And that leads into the other door. Little scratch right here. Here's a scratch I was talking about on the back corner here. And uh, it looks like it might might be able to be buffed out. Kind of zoom in on that. Might just be in the clear coat. And a scratch right here. Not sure what happened. Right there. And that's it. Fuel fill, 75 gallon fuel fill. Rear tires are uh, were manufactured. The I'll show you off. I'll show them off right here. It's upside down, but. Uh, 25th week of 2015 and all four tires in the rear were replaced in 2015 and they're in excellent condition show off the a few uh, rock dents on the back here little dinks in the paint water hookups area right here outside shower all the good stuff Here's your 50 amp power cord. Fifty-five hundred own in Marquise Gold generator, gasoline generator. Rear molded painted fiberglass cap. A lot of your gas motor homes will not have the fiberglass cap. Uh, Five thousand pound towing capability. You do have the grass skirting to protect uh, your tow vehicle from rocks kicking up ladder to get up on your full walk-on fiberglass roof get a little, little scratch right here on the corner a lot of that is just common wear just normal wear and tear oh and right here I try to show out everything that could be a concern to a potential buyer try to show it off there's your adventure badge right there power awning and it's in excellent condition looks to be maybe a 18 foot power awning you do have basement AC on this coach the furnace is 40,000 BTUs LP tank I think it's like a 20 I'm not sure what the size is storage there and loaded down storage there And there you go, more storage. Let's try to show off, I forgot to show off the monitor panel. I don't know why I forgot that. Or your central command, I'll try to show that off here before I end the video. Central command here, uh, let's see, starting from the top, let's see, water heater switch up top and water pump switch, easy to figure out, generator start and stop button, water heater switch for One's for gas and electric, one's for, one's for gas and one's for electric. Uh, generator, let's see how many hours are on the generator. Looks to be 262 hours on the generator. Energy management system, tells you how many amps you're pushing. And this is gonna be your battery voltage and you do have a solar charger for your battery, a 10 watt solar charger on your battery, for your battery. Uh, monitor levels and this is going to be your true air basement AC system and just below that is your inverter uh, I'm not sure what size the inverter is on this coach I'm gonna say it's at least a thousand watt inverter okay I don't know why I forgot the central command but anyway I know I didn't get everything there's a ton of stuff on this coach but anyway uh, 
If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to come out and see the coach, just call the number on the ad. You deal directly with the owner. If you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. And I also forgot, let's, let's point the, let's back up here, I'll show off. There's that satellite dome up top there. And you do have the metal wrap for the awning. So there, there's two items that I almost forgot. All right. Thanks for watching.